Hi, this is Ali from Sally Cosmos. Uh, in this video, I will show you the as list static method of the arrays class more deeply. Uh, in the previous uh, video, I have already shown you that the names list, which is being returned by the as list static method of the arrays class, is of fixed size and it is right through. Fixed size means you cannot change the size of this list. You cannot add any element to this list. You cannot remove any element to this list. Uh, although, of course, you can change the existing elements. Second thing is, it is right through. If you make any changes to this list, the original array is also changed. If you change the original array, this list is also changed. So what happens is, the asList method of the arrays class takes an array and just wraps, in, wraps it into a list and is being returned. If you go inside the asList implementation of the arrays class, you will see whatever you pass as an argument to the asList method is just wrapped inside the array list and is being returned. Also, this array list is not as the same as the java.util.array list. This is this cla class, which is defined inside the arrays class. It's a static class that is defined inside the array class, and this is being returned. And if you see this array list from right hand side, it does not override any add or the remove method. So where from the add and remove method comes from then? It comes from the abstract list. If you go inside the abstract list, the add method is defined. And if I go inside the add method, you will see the default implementation says to return unsupported operation exception. Since your array's inner static class does not override the add or remove method, you get the this unsupported operation exception. That's it to this tutorial. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done. You just remember that this is the list which is being returned by the arrays dot as list method. It's just a wrapper over the your original array. And also the returned uh, list is array list, but it is not same as the java dot util dot array list, but it's uh, the implementation which is defined inside the arrays class. And that implementation, uh, this Arrays list implementation, which is uh, defined inside the arrays class, does not override add and remove method of the abstract list. And the abstract list default implementation says to just return the unsupported operation exception. And that's how you get the unsupported operation exception if you call the add or the remove method to the return list. That's it. I will see you in some other tutorial. Uh, please do like and subscribe and Bye-bye.